Hi, my name is Stephen Meeker. This is scroll number 10 from the greatest salesman in the world. And I do this three times a day <clears throat> to program the subconscious. I've been doing this now, this is month number 10. I don't know if you've seen any of my videos or not, but um, I've been doing this three times a day for 10 months. And that's very, it's really a long time if you think about it. And it what it really does is it shows you what you're capable of. So if you've had any very big dreams in your world, in your, in your life, if you're working with other people that are serious and you don't really seem to get that breakthrough in your life, this is an extremely good method to work on yourself. If you make it up to 10 months, if you really make it, I only have a couple of days left and I'm finished with this program. and. I just really feel compelled to do another video about why you should do it or why you could do this is because it will really hmm, open up any kind of blocks that you've had in your life. It's not, it's, it's not a magic bullet, but it will magically show you that no matter what you put your mind to, that you really feel that every part of your mind, your body, and your soul that you can do it no matter what. It doesn't make any difference how much money you want to make. It doesn't mat matter what kind of a relationship you want to have, what you want to own, what you want to have, what kind of relationship you want to have your children, your spouse, your parents, any kind of bad conflicts you've had in the, in the past, it will clear it up for sure because the schools work on your subconscious and your subconscious drives 80% of everything you do. So I guarantee you there is no way in the world you can do 10 months of these, uh, 10 months of these schools three times a day and not have anything change in your life because it's, the schools are really brutal. You do it three times a day and you can't get out of it. You do it three times a day reinforcing this every single day. It's unbelievable. Try it. Try it. I guarantee you after a couple of weeks you, you're, you'll be like, oh my god, this is amazing. This is, at the one time it's, it's hard at the beginning, but the other side you really feel the changes suddenly start happening in your life. Okay, I am Stephen Meeker. This is Recitation of School Number 10. And like I said, I do it just to program the subconscious because it controls 80% of everything we do. And why not program that by God? Okay, school number 10 is called I Will Pray for Guidance. And of course, you don't need a religion to pray or to meditate. Who is of so little faith that a moment of great disaster or heartbreak has not called to his God? Who has not cried out when confronted with danger, death, or mystery beyond his norm experience or comprehension. From where has this deep instinct come which escapes from the mouths of all living creatures in moments of peril? Move your hand in haste before another eyes and his eyelids will blink. Tap another on his knee and his leg will jump. Confront another with dark horror and his mouth will say, my God, from the same deep impulse. My life not be filled with religion in order for me to recognize this greatest mystery of nature. All creatures that walk the earth, including man, possess the instinct to cry for help. Why do we possess this instinct, this gift? Are not our cries a form of prayer? Is it not incomprehensible to a world governed by nature's laws to give a lamb or mule or a bird or man the instinct to cry for help, lest some great mind has also provided that the cry should be heard by some superior power having the ability to hear and to answer our cry. Henceforth I will pray, but my cries for help will only be cries for guidance. Never will I pray for the material things of the world. I am not calling to a servant to bring me good. I am not ordering an innkeeper to provide me with a room. Never will I seek delivery of gold love, good health, petty victories, fame, success, or happiness. Only for guidance I will pray because our intuition, our instincts are more important than that. <clears throat> that it may be shown 
the way to acquire these things. And my prayers will always be answered. The guidance I seek may come, or the guidance I seek may not come. But not both of these an answer. If a child seeks bread from his father and it's not forthcoming, has a father not answered? I will pray for guidance and I'll pray as a salesman in this manner. O oh, creator of all things, help me. For this day I go out into the world naked and alone. And without your hand to guide me, I will wander far from the past which leads to success and to happiness. I ask not for gold or garments or even opportunities equal to my ability. Instead, guide me so that I may acquire ability equal to my accomplishments. You have taught the lion and the eagle how to hunt and prosper with teeth and claw. Teach me how to hunt with words and prosper with love so that I may be a lion among men and an eagle in the marketplace. Help me to remain humble through obstacles and failures. Yet hide not from my eyes the prizes that will come with victory. Assign me tasks to which others have failed. Yet help me it guide me to pluck the seeds of success from their failures. Confront me with fears that will temper my spirit, yet endow me with courage to laugh at my misgivings. Spare me sufficient days that may bear fruit. It silence me from gossip that none may, may be maligned. Discipline me in the habit of trying and trying and trying again. Yet show me the way to make the use of the law of averages. Favor me with alertness, recognize opportunity, and endow me with patience, which will concentrate my strength. Bathe me in good habits that the bad ones may draw on, yet grant me compassion to show weakness in others. Suffer me to know that all things shall pass, yet help me to count my blessings today. Expose me to hate, so it not be a stranger, and fill my cup with love to turn strangers into friends. Be all these things, be only if thy will, I am a small and a lonely grave. Clutch in the vine, yet thou hast made me different from all others. Verily, there must be a special place for me. Help me, show me the way. Let me become all you planned for me when my seed was planted and selected by you to sprout in the vineyard of the world. Help this humble salesman. Help me, God. Guide me, God. That's basically it. I do this three times a day, and this month is really, at the end of the day, learning to be become humble because we're just a person a man or a woman that's trying to do their best in this world and if you're being humble if you're listening to your intuition you're going to get guided on the right path anyway and if you're humble you can hear that little inner voice that's inside of you if you agree with this don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want to get into the loop of this and get things happening with yourself Thank you for staying in too, and if you'd like to make a comment, I'd like to hear from you if you so wish. And as always, from my heart to your heart, peace. Bye-bye.